You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, and stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, everybody, welcome to Daytime Tea Time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. Okay, so let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about a few things, okay? So let's start with the ladies of The Real. Yesterday on The Real, the ladies were very, very opinionated about YouTubers, bloggers, news outlets, Instagram accounts that defame other people's character, putting out news that maybe they know is not true or a lot Allowing people to be their source and putting out information that most likely is not true and ends up ruining people's lives. Jeannie Mai said that she basically not even really messing with no online bloggers. She said that she's unfollowed them all. Now I personally missed this episode. I was working on some other things. Y'all know I got my own show, Candid Candice, where I'm going to be interviewing celebrities and business owners and things like that. So I've been very busy working on that. So I actually missed the episode. But my subscribers, y'all were deep in my DM basically saying that the ladies of the real were throwing shade at me. So before I watched the clip, y'all had me in my feelings. I'm like, what did they say about me? I thought they said my name. I'm telling y'all, y'all was being messy in my DMs, making me think that the ladies of the real tried me. But anyways, I watched the clip and I have a very interesting opinion about this. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about what they said, but first I want you guys to hear exactly what they had to say. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. Why are we so quick to believe sources? Yeah. And why are we so quick to empower blogs and online news media that people start themselves without any credibility? So weird. It sucks. Like if reputable media can't even give the facts properly, what makes you believe that like a random blog on Instagram is telling the truth? Right. Like, we watch and these we major with. reputable news yeah. outlets and we're like, that's correct. And sometimes their facts are off. We're looking at it like that is not correct. <laughs> Shouldn't it somewhat be illegal yeah. to be a source without them saying who you are? I feel like if you feel bold enough to speak up about it, let your yep, name yeah. be known. Yep. Say who you are. Who is source? That seems so cowardly. Well, you can me. hit the. Uh, it's just cowardly. You can, you can hit the person that is um, reporting the source. Mm -hmm. Like if you feel like defamation of character yeah. or things like that, then you can go to the actual say no, the, the media outlet. How can we do that though? Yeah. How can we do that? Because I feel like you put listen, a cease and desist. I know, but I feel like I feel helpless, honestly. You go on YouTube, you see so many Terrible. stories about each Terrible. and every one of us. They're so far from the truth. So but what funny. really sucks is they've got like million to two million views. views. And I feel like the more divisive, the more mm -hmm. like devious yeah. it is, Evil. right? The more views they get. Yeah. So how can these people who do this, how can they get some consequences? Like, because I, yes. they need to be held responsible because well, yes. they're, they're ruining some people's lives out yeah, there. Yeah. And defamation and they of don't, character. They don't, and they don't remember we have we have families. We, we have, have children, lives. We have lives. And we have situations that affect our future. I remember when I was going through my divorce, it was insane to yeah. me that blogs were painting word by word scenarios that was actually adding fuel to the fire in which we were trying to put out. We yeah. were trying to move amicably in a way that would uh, uh, promote us to be happy. Yeah. But when you hear and read things, you think that that person is doing a little trick on you. And then you have lawyers that are feeding things in your ears That's like, true. Yeah. you got to do That's something. True. What are you going to do? back and it's so evil and disgusting that literally I have actually completely um, turned away from blogs and any like I've unfollowed I recorrected all of my algorithms yeah so I don't even see any type of gossip or news and I learned that you have an algorithm in your mind Ooh, mm, when rich. you click on something when you deposit it you will start to actually your brain has this thing called RAS and it actually plays over so if you say to yourself like I'm not good enough you will see reasons why you're not good enough constantly every day if you click on gossip you will constantly see that fade of BS all the time so you have to control your algorithm and control your actions to yeah. clean your mind and clutter. Yeah. 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 
Okay, so you guys saw that. Now there's more to that clip. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more in a second. But first I wanna talk about that part. The ladies of the real were not playing, okay? They said what they said. That's their opinion, which they are entitled to. And I actually agree with them for the most part. Now there were some things I didn't really agree with, but for the most part, I completely agree with them. There are YouTubers and bloggers and people on Instagram who are always saying they have sources and my source said this, my source said that. And and then it comes to find out the source was lying. The story already went viral to millions of people, millions of people believing a lie that a source said. So I completely agree, you know what I'm saying? When there's outlets like that, they are ruining lives. There are bloggers and YouTubers and Instagram people who push a narrative and lie on people, straight up lie on them. But they say the lie is okay because a source told them. But at some point, people need to take responsibility for ruining people's lives with the lie that they push. So with that said, when Tamara mentioned YouTubers, I didn't take any offense. I don't feel like she's talking about me. Yes, I am a YouTuber who has talked about the ladies of the real multiple times. I do have millions of views talking about them, but I don't defame them. I don't lie on them. I don't push narratives that are not true. I tell my opinion. Now, if the ladies of the real have not liked my opinion here and there, that's okay. They're entitled to it. I feel like the ladies of the real are doing the same same exact thing that I'm doing. The only difference is they have millions of dollars behind them, beautiful production, and they're on TV. But at the end of the day, they're on TV saying their opinion and so am I. It's just sometimes my opinion happens to be about them. But to my subscribers who sent this to me and you guys feel like they were throwing shade at me, I have to let you know that I don't feel that way. I don't feel like they're throwing shade at me. They were very specific talking about YouTubers, bloggers, and Instagrammers who lie and defame people's character and ruin people's lives. None of the videos that I've made are ruining anybody's lives or lying on them. I thank y'all for having my back, but I just have to let y'all know, I don't feel like they were talking about me. Jeannie Mai was very transparent and she's like, I'm not really feeling the blogs and the gossip. And she said that she unfollowed a lot of people. And I'm here to let y'all know, I'm not one of those people. She's still following me. So that further shows me that she's not talking about me. Now, if they were feeling some kind of way about me, I feel like they would have straight up told me. I do my best to keep a very professional relationship with people. And I'm telling y'all, the ladies of the real would have been hit me up and said, Candace, we don't like this video. Or Candace, please remove that video. And that's never happened to me. I've never had anybody sending me cease and desist. I've never had anybody trying to sue me. So the ladies of the real were not talking about this YouTuber. Let's be clear. But I do appreciate my fans and my subscribers for having my back. I'm not gonna lie, there was one portion of that conversation that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And it's the part where Jeannie Mai said, you know, there's blogs that people started at their homes with no credibility. Most businesses start at home. This is my business and I started it at home. So I was in my feelings at first, but I had to listen to exactly what she said. She said, people with no credibility, meaning people who have lied constantly over and over and over, and they're not credible. So she not talking about me, period. But like I said, I understand why you guys thought that she was talking about me. Jeannie was not talking about me. She's still following me, and I'm not over here lying on people. So she ain't talking about me. But anyways, the conversation continued, and Lonnie Love actually had to kind of change the conversation, because I think she realized they were really kind of focusing on the negative side of bloggers and news outlets. So what Lonnie did was she straight up kind of changed the conversation and redirected it more towards the fact that there are good bloggers, and I consider myself one of those. So Lonnie pointed out a very, very true fact about the fact that it's very difficult for black blogs and black news outlets to make it into mainstream media. So Lonnie acknowledged that they do need blogs. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. Well, I, okay, I do wanna say, I do think that there are some good blogs and I think that there are some bad blogs. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you why for, and I know I can only speak for, I think, um, people of color blogs, for a long time, we weren't allowed into mainstream white media. Like, we don't get picked up a lot. Like, shout out to people.com, because y'all picked oh, yeah. up yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. magazine can be 
mean, yes. you know what I mean? But it's like, press we do I need respect. press. In order to keep our show on, That's right. we need press. So I can't dog all, all of the of blogs, right. but there are some blogs that's just ridiculous. And Chuck, sometimes they're we, negative. you have to stand up and you have to say, okay, this is ridiculous. Yes. You know, and that's tell right. us who your sources are. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But I don't want to diss all sources. blogs. Okay, so you guys saw that. Adrian knows she a mess talking about, I want to know who your source is. Remember, you guys, the topic that they were talking about, they were talking about the fact that there were sources that were speaking on behalf of Jay-Z. But anyways, you guys saw that Lonnie actually shouted out People.com and People Magazine because they have been very, very supportive of the real and a lot of celebrities. They're more on the positive side. They'll talk about the drama and the mess, but they do it in a respectful way and they make sure they have the facts. For example, I was actually featured on People.com last year when I used to do my voiceovers. My loyal subscribers know that last year I used to do voiceovers. I was not on camera last year. So anyways, my subscribers used to love when I did reviews of episodes of The Real. And there was an episode where Jeannie and Tamara had a disagreement. Tamara had all kinds of attitude and it was very entertaining. The next day they let everybody know that they are friends but they just had a disagreement. So anyways, I did a video on it and people.com actually used my YouTube video as reference. And when they posted me on their website, I really felt like, wow, they're supporting a YouTuber who's just saying her opinion. So shout out to people.com. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Lonnie was gonna shout out a black owned blog when she was mentioning black media. But anyways, I get the point. She's talking about blogs that are supportive, who tell the truth, and who are respectful. I'm not perfect, but that's what I strive to do every day on my platform. So one more time to my subscribers, I don't feel like they were talking about me at all. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this and I wanna know what y'all think. What do you guys think about the ladies of the real stating their opinions about YouTubers and bloggers and Instagrammers? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.